Not seen in public since Christmas Day, the Princess of Wales will be disappointed to be absent from St. David's Day celebrations this year, recuperating at home following her abdominal surgery, but it's clear that Princess Kate is wild about Wales. Of course, Wales is a land close to her heart. It was on Anglesey, after all, that the newly married Prince and Princess of Wales were able to spend time together, while William worked as a helicopter rescue pilot from RAF Valley. As the princess rests and regains her strength, let's remind ourselves of all the times she visited the country, whose name she now bears and why it's clear that Catherine is wild about Wales. As Catherine and William became the new prince and princess of Wales for the first time, her LK Benet coat was in Welsh dragon red and she was beaming with happiness when she arrived at a church service in Swansea in September 2022. Following the visit, a royal fan shared a video on social media of their exchange with the prince and princess. In the video, the onlooker can be heard congratulating the royals on their parenting, praising how they were raising their three young children. The fan added that they are incredible. Before William quickly replied, that's very sweet. We're looking for a babysitter. The fan replied, oh, I love you. You're so real. Diana would be so proud of you. William and Catherine are known for their hands-on approach to parenting. Most recently, their two oldest children were praised online for their immaculate behavior and impressive following of royal protocol during Christmas walkabout in Sandringham. The couple's candid conversation with a royal fan wasn't the only exchange they had with the public in Wales. In one sweet moment, Princess Catherine met four-year-old Theo Cropton, who presented the royal with a sweet bouquet of pink roses. His mother, Rebecca Crompton, said, We were actually on the way to school when I changed my mind and decided to bring him down here for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. William and she also revisited the Royal National Lifeboat Institution in Anglesey, where they had undertaken their first-ever joint engagement in February 2011. It brought back memories, as Catherine told well-wishers Glennis Johnson that Anglesey was a happy place for her. William also said, it's good to be back. It really is. It feels like going back in time, seeing where we all started to be a family unit. The last time Catherine was in Wales was last April, and she made a two-day visit with William. She expertly balanced seven boxes, but did she get a tip for her trouble? She was heard reminding William that it's not a race, when on the same trip, the competitive pair abseiled down the side of a cliff. Despite the high winds and rain, Catherine remained in good spirits and definitely earned her pizza. Not many women tackle an energetic spin class when wearing 4-inch heels, but Catherine decided to keep her John Vito rosy boots on when she took part in a workout at Abervon Fitness and Leisure Center in Port Talbot, ahead at St. David's Day last year. Competing against William, the princess was declared the winner of the 45-second virtual endurance race and even awarded a mini trophy for her victory. When the Wales family without Prince Louis paid a visit to Cardiff Castle, Catherine made sure she stood out to the crowds in a tailored red Apinoni coat and told the royal fan that she has been reminding George that he lived in Wales, in Anglesey, when he was a little baby. With a daffodil, the national flower of Wales, proudly pinned to her lapel, Catherine was in a buoyant mood when she visited a farmer's market in Abergavenny and told the local producer that she had a soft spot for goat's cheese. Both tried their hand at baking Welsh cakes later in the day where William's rather flat efforts had his wife in fits of giggles.